Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a quick little video that I'm doing. I'm home showing you guys how to make a simple lemonade. Um, very simple and easy. This is just the way I make it and what works for us. So right here I have, this is a two liter um, pitcher that I have and it has some cold water in it and I filled it up um, about one liter and three fourths. I usually fill it up up to here by making like an iced tea. And this lemonade I'm going to be trying with stevia for the first time. And then I'm doing, well really this is more like a limeade I guess you would say. Because I'm using limes instead of lemons. Um, I used about two and a half pounds of lemons to get a cup of juice. This is the rest of it. It was a total of three pounds. There was a really good sale. Three pounds for a dollar on limes. So um, I wanted to make some lemonade. Uh, sometimes I'll use this on its own. Um, it's the crystallite lemonade um, for like a once in a while thing for myself and I got this at Costco but today I want to do something else I want to use the stevia instead and what I'll do is this is half a cup of the stevia and this is a cup I'm gonna do about half of it so I'm gonna pour half of it in here and see how that does and if I need more lim well I did a little bit more than half I did about three-fourths and then I'm going to add the stevia to this and see how it does if I need a little bit more, if I need a little bit extra. Oh, that was messy. That was a fail. So I'm going to mix this up really quick and see how this does. A little bit messy. And then I'm going to do a quick taste and see if I need to add more lemons, if I need to add more um, lemon juice. We'll see how that is. Okay, so I just added um, a little bit more water to fill it up because it got up to here. And then I ended up adding the full cup of the lemon juice. I think three-fourths of a cup would have been good, but um, since I had it on hand, might as well. Then I have a cute little cup here, of course. Oh, wrong way. Um, my daughter decorated that with some washing tape over there. Washi tape. Um, I did have to add a little bit more stevia, and since I saw the powder like just went everywhere, um, cause I'm actually, I used half a cup of this one right here. This is the stevia, um, and powder. Um, I actually added a few of these drops. I only did like two or three of these. And, um, I know that stevia can give like a bitter taste and the after taste is not like too bad. Um, but it's good. I, I like it. So I'm going to serve myself some up with this for some dinner and then in the description I will um put down the ingredients for it um the measurements really simple and easy but this is just an alternative for a sugar-free drink um but of course you don't have to use stevia you can use whatever sugar um you want and I think it'll taste good the only one I probably wouldn't recommend is like a brown sugar because that's a, like a big no-no <laughs> Um, but maybe you can try it. I don't know. Um, I feel like any sugar that you use will be fine. And then I put some cute little lime slices in there. So I'm going to go enjoy this. I served this in a cute little mason cup, um, with some ice and some cute little limes I'm going to have with my dinner. For my dinner today, if you guys wanted to know, because I'm having some broccoli, some steamed broccoli, some cauliflower rice, and of course some fried chicken. Not healthy, but... <laughs> I said, okay, my kids are having mashed potatoes. I will do the um, cauliflower rice. And um, there will be a video up of how I make this fried chicken. Believe it or not, I do not use eggs to make it. Um, so that will be coming up this week. So please subscribe, like, comment down below um, if you have any questions. And uh, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.